Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we have a brand new series on the channel the free to play adventures now I did actually have a free to play series I did one episode I forgot the details for my account so I couldn't actually log back in so that was my mistake but if you are new please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel and also follow my twitter down in the description down below to stay up when I do upload so as you can see here we're just starting up the brand new account now we're just doing the introduction the tutorial and you can see here we get the first crystal now you always get this crystal when you start a brand new account in Disney Merverse basically it's a selector between the three guardians there are all two stars and the best option here as you can see in this video it's always going to be Ariel Ariel Mulan and Hercules they're all melee guardians but I would say Ariel is definitely the best Hercules himself he's not too bad he has some good damage Mulan she's decent when he first started but overall for the future she's not going to be a good option so here as you can see we're just starting at 1.1 we're getting through the story as quick as possible that's always important when you start a brand new account out it's basically the introduction it's making you like level up your guardians I really would rather save my moats but using it on someone like Ariel is fine in the meantime so you can see here we're just progressing on and we actually have ourselves a first stellar crystal now you get this for free so we're about to open this up I'm pretty sure this first this one guarantees you a three star Merida. I'm pretty sure on my last free to play account I also got Merida. So you can see here we get her as a three star. Now this is really good when you're first starting off your brand new account. Any three star is going to really help you. And it's also a Reigns Guardian which I'm really a big fan of playing. So we're just going to progress through the story. I want to get as far as possible in this video. My aim is to get to chapter 2 on normal difficulty. Now the reasoning behind this is because the more you explore the actual story, the more you level up, the more you increase your energy. And at the same time you're going to get a lot of these objective dones. These one with like 5 orbs are really good. It does build up over time just by playing the actual story mode itself. So you can see here we're just going through it with our aerial and also our Merida, just destroying all of these opponents. It does start to get hard a little bit towards when we get to chapter two, but right now it's really simple. Everything's getting done really fast. Now, as you can see here, we're gonna actually claim ourselves our first of the stars. Now the stars, what this means, it basically gives you some moats. Now these are the universal moats, and it's just gonna be really useful for just leveling up my guardians, helping me get through the story. Now you can see here, we can start crafting our timekeeper crystals. We got our first one for free. And this does award us a two star Rapunzel. Now, this is going to be really useful for the A1, A2 challenges where you have to use certain guardians. Rapunzel is one of those, especially for the treasure hunt, you have to defeat 1.1 with Rapunzel. So, that's going to be really useful. And you can see here, we finally get ourselves our calendars. So, you can see here, we've got the Pride 2023, and this is going to reward us some good guardians here. We've got another aerial dupe that's really useful to have. And you can get yourself some really good guardians from that. So we've got some glowing crystals. These are really pointless. It's good for early game and it did really award us here. We got ourselves a one star Mike. Now this is my first support guardian on this account. I'm really happy with Mike. After his buff, he is one of the best support guardians in the game. I absolutely love him. So even at a one star, he's going to be useful right at the beginning. So I'm going to be leveling him up, taking him up as high as possible. And we're just putting some more moats into our aerial. Just getting her up when we go into chapter two. So now we are choosing our player name. I decided to go for Dax free to play. Now my other account had one S. It was just Dax free to play. Here I can actually copy it over. So it is the name and you can see here that is our name for the account. So now we are moving on to 1.10. This is the Maleficent fight. Here I just wanted to get this done as quick as possible. Getting through story is so important. I've already said it like five times in this video but it really is when you start a brand new account. And it just helps you get these objectives like the rainbow objective, the pride month objectives. These are so good. It's just free guardians and it just helps the star rating. So here, this is when it starts to get a little bit difficult. With Maleficent, the issue with her is when she uses a special ability, she has a guaranteed chance to hit you. So punishing her with your special ability is all about the timing, getting it right. And this overall is a very simple fight and we get it done very quickly. So once we've done this fight, we have completed ourselves chapter one on normal difficulty. That was very simple. It didn't take too long to get through it. And um, completing it, we get all our style ratings, which will get us some more universal moats. So that's really good as well. And as you're completing 1.10, gets ourselves a two star Sully. You can see it right here. Sully, after his buff, he's an absolute tank. I love him. So that's my first tank guardian with this new account. And I'm actually going to take him up all the way to level 10. He deserves the universal moats. 
and completing 1.10 also gives you lots of achievements and also lots more special and also other milestones to complete. So doing 1.10 also unlocks the supply runs which will be really useful in the future and we're just collecting our star rewards here and that will give us some more universal modes. So we're going to put these into our Sully, he is definitely worth it and we're just going to take him up as high as possible. I can get him to level 6, that will give him a good boost going into chapter 2. Now we also have some mail to claim, we have 10 orbs here for free, I will take that, it all adds up and also we have for Pride Month, we have a Stellar Crystal which is also great and the rest we can just delete those, we don't even need them. Now for signing up with a Kabam account you also get a glowing crystal so keep that in mind. You know it's New Guardians as well. You can actually get a 3 star but the odds are terrible. Here we got the Bazaar store. We finally got that unlocked and we get really lucky we got ourselves 20 orbs. So that's amazing as well. It adds up. Now going over to the store we have the Stellar Crystal. I'm just hoping to get a 5 star Guardian of course. Everybody wants a 5 star Guardian when they first start off in the game. But we'll take anything decent and here we're going to actually get ourselves a 2 star Corella. Now I'm really happy with this. I had her on my other free to play account. When I first started I got her as a 4 star and she's really good. She roots our opponents. She also replies Dizzy. So I will be taking her up over my Merida. And then we also open this glowing crystal and get ourselves a one star baymax just more guidance they'll be really useful for towers now moving on we actually completed 2.10 we got it done as soon as possible it was quite a struggle in the end but we managed to get it done and we've got the star rewards here we've got some more universal moats and doing this also unlocks us a two star version of jack sparrow another support guardian he's very useful in the early game completing 2.10 also gives us a three star crystal i'm really hoping we get something good now we've got some more claimable stuff here we've got the app store exclusive starter kit we get 20 orbs some energy and also a profile picture and we finally unlocked rift raids which gives us a another 10 orbs so the orbs are starting to stack up now what I wanted to do here is to do something I learned from my other account now with this month's update if you actually open five fame crystals for King Trident you can actually get him as a one star if you don't pull him from the crystals now once you get him as a one star from the event quest you can actually get him all the way to like five star or even astral one for free just by playing it obviously on this account it's brand new so I probably won't be able to get him all the way to Astral 1 it will just be too hard but I can get him to like a 3 or 4 star quite simply so here we get ourselves a 1 star Wally and then we move over and we get ourselves a 1 star Aladdin there's two new guardians Wally is really good as well he's a solid tank option and we also get ourselves a duplicate on Sully so we have the 3 star crystal here I just hope it's someone decent so we open this one up hoping for some good luck and we get ourselves a 3 star Hades. Now Hades, I've never really played him. I know he's really good. I don't know, I was like 50-50 on it. I was just like, okay, that's pretty good. So I'm going to take him up. I'm really expecting something good. And you can see here we open a King Trident Crystal. And watch us, we're about to get ourselves some insane luck. We're about to get ourselves a 2 star Aladdin. Now, that's really bad. Obviously, I've just spent 220 orbs and got myself a 2 star from it. That sucks, but actually opening a Fame Crystal gets us another 3 star crystal, so in the end it was worth it. And we're only 4 away from getting ourselves a guaranteed Kin Trident, so I will take it. That's the aim of the game, to get this 1 star Kin Trident as fast as possible, take him up to a high level and going for the event quest and getting him all the way up as high as possible. So here we go, we got a second free start on this account. I'm hoping for a good tank guardian. I really do like tank guardians in Disney Mirrorverse. And we do actually get ourselves a dupe on our Wally. So that is a free star Wally. So that is really good. Wally is one of those guardians that when I started making content on YouTube, I didn't actually get to test him out. I wasn't part of the KCP. But I do really like playing him and he's really, really good as well. So I'm going to be taking him up as well as Hades. Let's put all my moats into both these guardians, getting them up as high as possible. I'm really happy with today's episode with the pools I've got, Wally and also Hades. I have them on my main account, but I don't actually have them as a 5 star, and I never play them, so this is going to be a good experience to try out new Guardians I've never tried before. Maybe it will affect my tier list in the future, and maybe place them higher, depending on how good I think they are based on this free to play account so that is it for today's episode overall i'm very happy with the progress i've made if you did like the video please leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one peace out